Hello. Hi. I thought I'd wave faster than usual, because normally I'm just like, I'm not even waving, I'm just like throwing my arms about. So I'm finally making the video where I tell everybody what I'm calling my daughter, because everybody's really eager to know. If you can hear my fan going crazy, it's because my fan is going crazy on my laptop right now, so apologies if you can just hear I thought for ages, like, how do I want to tell everybody what I'm going to call her and blah 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 Should I do like a cute little video? Should I like announce it in this way? That way? This way? And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to like tell you guys what I'm going to call her But more importantly, I'm going to tell you why I am choosing to name her this Because for me, there's a lot of meaning behind this name And I kind of wanted to like, you know, express that I didn't just want to be like, we're calling her this because it sounds nice and we like it There's a lot of meaning behind this name and that's why I'm so sure So, are you guys ready to finally know what I am going to call my baby girl? This is your time to guess Any last guesses, if you've not read the comments section, which you probably have already Then, yeah Okay, I'm procrastinating enough now her name is going to be... Dun dun dun! Are you ready for it? It's going to be... Drum roll. I just wanted to bang on my desk because I'm really childish. Athena. Her name is Athena. Yeah, I like that name so much. Even saying it makes me smile. That's what me and Niall have been saying to my tummy for like weeks and weeks and weeks on end, even months now. We've just been addressing her as Athena, so it's been really hard for me not to just say her name in a pregnancy vlog because I've said it so many times and then had to quit out the video and been like, oops. So yeah, I just like to say before I get into the meaning and why we've chosen this name. Well, more so why I've chosen it, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was mostly me that made this decision, and then Niall just thought, yeah, that fits perfectly, and blah, 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 so he's happy with it, and yeah. So before I get into the whole meaning side of things, and blah, da, 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 I'd just like to say, you know, any negative comments, you know, anything that anybody says, like, you know, regarding whether they like it or not, whatever, I don't care, this is my daughter's name, as far as I'm aware, I can't imagine her having any other name, and maybe by the end of this video, you'll understand why I'm so strong on her being called Athena. If you're not keen on the name or whatever, or you don't like it, then fair enough, you're entitled to your opinion. But, you know, her name is Athena and nothing anyone says, you know, is gonna affect her name. You can't change it, it's picked, it's there. Me and my partner have been calling her Athena for months now, so yeah, I'm gonna get into why we've chosen this name. Sorry, I'm smiling so much. I'm just so happy to have got it off my chest because I've just been thinking, how can I tell them her name? Shall I wait till she's born? And then I thought, I probably won't even have time to make an in-depth video like this when she's born, so I'm gonna get it out of the way now. If you're Greek or you know someone who's Greek or you know anything about Greek mythology, you'll know that Athena was the goddess of wisdom or is the goddess of wisdom, however you want to look at it. But she's also the goddess of various other things too. She's also the goddess of courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, just warfare, strength, strategy, the arts, crafts and skill. So that on its own is a pretty strong like you know meaning for a name but there's even more to it as to why I'm calling her that. I'm gonna kind of get a bit mathematics on you guys now which is really weird because I'm really bad at maths by the way like I'm so bad at maths it is insane but I do really believe in like lucky numbers and you know like I don't know it's really hard for me to explain but I'm very into my numbers but I'm not mathematical at all like I'm terrible at maths you know I was my worst GCSE grade was in the math section. I was terrible. But when it comes to like numerical meanings and things like that, I've always been really interested in it. So I'm gonna get a little bit on the number side of things now. There's a few coincidences numerically, which is just kind of like fascinating for me. So I'm gonna read a little bit from what I've got in front of me because I know this, but you guys won't know this. And then I'll kind of just talk about it a bit more in depth. Her soul urge number will be seven. Now, if you don't know what a soul urge number is, it's basically the heart's desire. It's your inner cravings, your likes, your dislikes, things that are normally kept private. This number denotes what you value the most and really desire and it also suggests the nature in which drives you in your daily life. So that's what a soul urge number is. If you want to know any more about that, Google that. You can find out how to work out your soul urge number and all of that jazz and blah 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 blah. But yeah, 
Hers is seven. And when I looked this up, this is what it said. People with this name have a deep inner need for quiet and a desire to understand and analyze the world they live in and to learn the deeper truths. Now this resonated with me deeply as a person because I think it's something that I'd want to pass on to my daughter in terms of characteristics. That explanation in itself sums up a very large part of me and she's obviously going to be a very, very large part of my life. Her lucky number is three. Now, you might just think, oh, okay, a lucky number. Why is a lucky number important, Jess? Like, you know, do lucky numbers even mean anything? You know, a lucky number doesn't mean this or that because I placed it on a lottery a million times. It never won me anything. I'm putting the hair behind the ear. That's how you know I mean business. The hair is going behind the ear. Now, the reason three resonates really deeply with me within is because she is my third pregnancy. For a lot of you that have only just joined my channel, you know, you may not know this. If you've been here for a while, you'll know this, but um, my first pregnancy was ectopic and I miscarried my second pregnancy. So she's in fact my third pregnancy. So the number three does really resonate, you know, the fact that her lucky number will be three and she's the third child really for me to have ever conceived and with the same person if anyone's wondering, you know. To me, that alone shows like, you know, a big coincidence. That number has been really important to me as well for a while now too, for like various other reasons that I won't get into right now, but yeah, her lucky number will be three. The next number I'm gonna get to is her expression number. If you don't know what an expression number is, just look it up on Google, blah, blah, blah. You'll be able to find out what it is. Her expression number is 22. So you're probably wondering, well, why is 22, you know, important? How does that show any significance in your life? When I found out her expression number was 22, I got a little bit weirded out because my age is 22 and you might think, oh, well, that's just a coincidence, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the age that she's been conceived is 22. I'll be 23 like two months after she's born or a month after she's born, depending when she chooses to show up. But that will always be the age in which she was conceived. With your expression number, you have an expression meaning and I'll read out her expression meaning now because I have it right in front of me. People with this name tend to be a powerful force to all whose lives they touch. They are capable, charismatic, can't say that, charismatic, was that correct? I think it was correct. Charismatic, maybe it's said like that, leaders who often undertake large endeavors with great success. They value truth, justice, and discipline and may be quick tempered with those who do not. If they fail to develop their potential, they may become impractical and rigid. Now, I've always strived to succeed in anything that I've done in life. Like, you know, not in the sense of, I must win this competition. I must have the most viewers on YouTube. Not in that way. I mean, in the sense of striving to succeed for your own personal, you know, gain. But but by that, I mean, everything that I do in life, I put 120% into it. It's just the way that I've always been. You know, I've always strived to succeed for me, not for anyone else. In a way, I think it's probably because growing up, I've had so much like negativity thrown at me. You won't do this, you can't do this. You know, my band would play gigs and we'd have a massive chunk of people being like, you're an awesome singer, you're really good at this or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But there'd always be people that said really negative things to me and it would really, really affect me. And I'd be like, I'm gonna prove you wrong one day and because of that it drove me to succeed in my own life even more so than I already wanted to and I've always been a really driven person I always strive to succeed in the things that I'm passionate about but like I said not for other people but for me sometimes like you know other people will help push me in the right direction with the negativity but when I say strive to succeed, it's more so not to prove people wrong, even though that kind of helps, you know, proving people wrong definitely like, you know, motivates me and things like that. But it's more so for my own gain, you know, to kind of feel whole in myself that I tried my hardest. And even if you don't win a competition, even if you don't get to the pinnacle of things like, you know, my band never got famous. However, we did almost get signed by like a really large record company. I got to play some really awesome gigs. I got to record some really good music. I got to play some awesome shows. I had some amazing moments just there in itself. To me, I succeeded in that. I didn't get ridiculously famous and rich and be on a billboard and have like my CDs in like HMV which, you know, is corrupt now anyway in itself, but that's another story. People aren't wearing t-shirts with like my band's cover on it, you know, but it's safe to say, I know for a fact there's people out there that are listening to my music because it got bought on iTunes and, you know, I know a lot of you guys listen to a lot of like my old band 5x5 stuff and I write songs, people hear them, you know, I've been played on the radio. I was successful in my own right, you know, I performed and I did the things that I wanted to do and I strove for that success and to me, I was successful. You know, fame doesn't mean 
success. What I'm trying to say is I've always put 100% into things and I've always strived to succeed if that makes any sense. I'm also very big on justice. I'm also very big on telling the truth which a lot of you guys already know. I believe in fighting for what is right. I've always believed in sticking up for yourself and not running away from things which is sad for me to say because I recently did run away from a particular situation. I didn't just leave without fighting is what I'm trying to say like I fought my hardest and then I was fighting against a brick wall basically so it was pointless but I still put up a battle to fight for justice and tell the truth so I'm happy with that. I was also extremely disciplined when growing up like you know I did not have it easy in any shape or form so I'm a very disciplined person. Nine times out of ten if I sit there and I'm like I'm gonna do this today I will do that task that day if I'm determined enough to do so and most of the time I'm a very determined person you know I have to be in a specific mood to just be like Blah, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. On my bad days, on like, you know, my bad bipolar days, for example, you know, I can feel that horrible grating, pushing down sensation, but yet inside I'm just determined and I just want to fight and I just want to get things done. I'm not going to say that I'm that person all the time, but on the inside I am, if that makes sense. And both me and Niall can be quite quick tempered when it comes to liars and people that are basically snakes, if that makes sense. It's not necessarily something that I'm proud of but it's a trait of mine like you know to be quite quick tempered when I'm in a situation with someone who won't admit something if that makes sense like you know especially with the kind of upbringing that I've had with my mum for example you know she never admits when she's wrong she always blames everybody else around her and it's just something I have always hated with a passion so again that meaning resonates with me even though I just kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. The overall meaning of Athena is wisdom and if my daughter could be anything then I would choose for her to be wise because I feel like if you're wise with the decisions that you make and you carry wisdom that itself is better than carrying all of the money in the world because if you're wise and you have your brain and you use it that is the best possible gift like honestly it is because so many people just do things without thinking and we all do things without thinking like you know that's the type of person that we all are at some point in our lives we've, we've all done careless things you know not thought before we've spoken or done something but if you're a wise person you're really rich here and that's really important and if I could give her anything in the world it would be wisdom. I'm not going to go too into the traditional side of things but what I will say is the tradition goes that Athena was described to be born fully armoured and prepared for battle and she had her weapons drawn and ready to fight and I already think of her as a fighter you know because of my previous losses and I didn't ever think that I'd be able to conceive or have children after you know my first two pregnancies just going down the pan and she's my rainbow baby in my eyes and a fighter and if you don't know what rainbow baby is google it but I also think that life is a battle in itself and I like to think of myself as a fighter even though I have struggled and hit some incredibly low lows in my time on this planet I have given up hope so many times like so many times I've just felt hopeless and I've tried to leave this world and I don't really like to talk about it a lot because it's a very negative thing to talk about and on the internet it can be quite a scary thing to talk about I have struggled so much to even get to this day to even live to this day in my life like every day for me is like you know a woohoo you know one more day kind of thing because of how many times I've tried to commit suicide and that's a really depressing like turn on such a happy video. None of my suicide attempts were successful and considering I tried to kill myself so many times now I see that as a gift in itself and even though in that frame of mind I wasn't really fighting to exist inside I must have been. I believe that because all of my attempts were unsuccessful I have a reason to exist. I'm not quite sure what my reason to exist is but I do believe that everybody here has a reason to exist and I'm not proud to admit it but I tried to hang myself when I was 15 years old and that's a really young age and that was my first attempt basically you know I tied a school tie around my neck and like put it on the light and stood off my table I don't want to go into it with too much detail but it was choking I was just choking it was a choking sensation and then the light came down with me and smacked me really hard the rest of it's a blur for me the fact that the light came down with me and like it was a bar with lights on it so like lights but it was definitely in there quite strong you know and I was not heavy but yet it came down with me and that could just be a coincidence, people can just see it as a coincidence if they want, but for me I see that as, you know, it was like, even though I couldn't see it at the time, 
I was being told by like a greater force or something that I had a reason to exist and that, you know, I should be around for longer. I don't know, that's how I look at it. Like, I, you can choose to look at it however you want to, but I do believe that a lot of the things that happen in life happen for a reason. And when that happened, I was in such a dark place that I couldn't see it as what it was in my eyes. Instead, I saw it as, you know, it's so, it's so horrible to say this, but I saw that as, oh wow, you suck Jess, you can't even kill yourself successfully, you know what I mean? And I continued to try for years and years after that to kill myself because I was so depressed, I just wanted a way out and nobody was there to protect me or save me or make me feel any better about anything. And I was suicidal for a very, very long time. But now when I look back at that, my life, I kind of see it as, I was unsuccessful because I have a reason to be here. So I try to look at it as a positive way, you know, like in a positive light. But to me, I'm a fighter, you know, even though like I've tried to give up and people can see that as being weak and stuff. But on the inside, that makes me a fighter. All of these failed attempts, you know, all of these epic fails, they've given me like a driving force to exist. And I haven't tried to do anything like that for a very, 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 very long time, which I'm very proud of. As negative as I've felt, as shitty as I've felt, how horrible I have felt, how depressed I've been, I haven't tried to do it for a very long time, like, you know, a very long time. And I'm very proud of that. And, you know, I see strength in that. I was told that my uterus was weak after I had my appendix out, you know, after I had my operation. They'd put, like, dye in my tubes to check if I could conceive, and everything was fine, you know, the dye went down the fallopian tubes and blah blah blah, but they told me my uterus was, like, a little bit weaker. They told me I might not be able to carry a child past a certain amount of weeks, months, I can't remember the logistics to it. When I found out I was pregnant and I went for my first scan, I had to have a really early scan early on because of my ectopic pregnancy and my miscarriage. When I went for that scan, I was just expected to be told that it was inevitable that this child would never like cease to exist. Well, exist, you know, I was just expecting a negative reaction. And when the ultrasound tech turned around to me and told me that she couldn't see a problem and that she couldn't see anything wrong with my uterus, I was like, how is that scientifically possible in any shape or form? And I'm not particularly religious, but I saw that as a miracle, you know, like I was like, whoa And I was thinking like, how? <laughs> how is that even possible? Did they make a mistake the first time? I'm not quite sure like, you know, did they make a mistake at the hospital? Then when we went for the second scan and she wasn't a little bean and she was like a little worm with a heartbeat They told me she had a really really strong heart and that's why I had such bad morning sickness. It could be just because of an increase in hormones that was really, really, really strong. And that babies with stronger heartbeats tend to like make, you know, the mother feel more sick. Another thing in my eyes, you know, that told me that she was a fighter from a really early stage and yeah, that she was meant to be. Everything that I feel on a day to day basis, you know, all of my lows and my highs and my ups and my downs, she's inside me feeling all of that. And there's nothing that I can do about it. You know, I could try to be as positive as possible, but I'm gonna have my down days and I'm still bipolar, I'm still gonna have all of these struggles but she's in there and she's fighting and she's healthy she's got a strong heart and there's nothing wrong with her to survive inside my body she has to be a fighter because of the amount of like ups and downs that I experience and the fact she'll be feeling them all I believe that she'll come into the world fighting, I really do and she's also given me a reason to live and for that alone, you know, I feel like the name suits her really, really well. I've had to move forward a little bit, like I always do in all my videos. On a slightly more positive note, when I first heard the name Athena, it was when I moved to Texas and I made friends with a girl called Athena, only her name is spelled Athena with an E on the end, so like Athene. So I'd always call her Athene and she'd be like, it's Athena, you know, you're half Greek, you're supposed to know this, that it's spelled that way, but it's pronounced this way. And she was always really, really funny. She was one of the first people I'd ever met in my life to show me like proper kindness and to not give a shit about what anyone else thought. Like, you know, my friend Lydia as well, she just walked around with all this confidence and she didn't give a shit about anything. But with Athena, she was always really bold in what she said. She wasn't shy at all. And I loved that. She never gave a shit about what anyone thought. And I always looked up to her as a friend. We've never argued to this very day and we've never had a disagreement and I met her when I was 12 and I've always admired her a lot so I also don't mind looking at my daughter and kind of thinking of my friend Athena back in Austin because she's always been a really good friend to me and even though she's far away you know and I didn't get to see her the last time I was there I've always thought really highly of her you know I've never thought negatively of her in any kind of way like ever she has never been negative towards me in any way and she's always been a really positive person in my eyes you know I know she's probably not positive all of the time, but I don't know, I just always thought that she was such a strong, determined person and just the way that she like, you know, the vibes that she gives off too. And I feel like her name really 
resonates within her too so again like another reason why I really don't mind calling my daughter Athena especially because I've always respected the only Athena that I do know which is my friend from Austin. Quite some time after meeting Athena and moving back to England and stuff you know I'd listened to The Who like a lot but I'd never heard that song Athena. I wasn't the largest Who fan basically like I hadn't heard all of the records but started getting into them a little bit more and when I heard the song Athena, I thought it was a really positive, uplifting song and it kind of made me think about my friend in Texas but it also made me think about other things, like happy things and it, I don't know, I just, the whole song has a really positive feel to it and I really like the lyrics and I'll link that song with the lyrics, you know, down below so you guys can check it out if you don't already know it but I love that song and ever since I heard it, I've always loved that song and just when you thought I didn't have more reasons to name my daughter Athena, my Aya likes the name and I'm happy because my Yaya likes the name and that was really important to me that she liked this name. I was looking for anyone's approval but I'm really happy that she likes it to be honest. And I love the way that she says it because I say Athena and she says Athena. She says it the Greek way and I like that. It's so cute. I also wanted my daughter to know that she has a Greek heritage, you know, more so for the sake of my Yaya than the sake of anyone else in my family. <laughs> She's gonna kind of be a bit of everything though considering Niall's Polish, Irish, English and... is there anything else? No, probably. Probably something. That boy's a little bit of everything. So she's going to be Greek, Irish, Polish and English. Anyway, and also another reason why I really like this name, I think it fits perfectly, is because her middle name is going to be Yaya's name. So her name is going to be, in English, pronounced Athena Drusula, and in Greek it's Athena Drusula. So my Yaya's name is Drusula, but in Greek it's pronounced Drusula. She's going to have a very Greek name, but she's going to have a very Irish last name. And a lot of people really hate my Yaya's name. Drusula, they're really not keen on it. But to me, whenever I think of Drusula, Drusula, I think of Yaya. And it was really important to me to kind of give a little bit back to my Yaya because she's like the closest to a mother that I've ever had. And a lot of people, they'll name their daughter after the mother, you know, as a sign of respect, or the sons after the fathers or the grandfathers and things like that. So that will be her name. It will be Athena Drusula, which sounds really weird. I'm going to think of her in my head as Athena, really. But on paper, it will be Athena Drusula. Not double barreled or anything like that. Her middle name will just be basically Yaya's name and her first name will be Athena. So yeah, that's her name. Now everybody knows if you're gonna act negatively towards this video, then act negatively, because I don't give a shit. Her name's Athena and there's nothing anyone can do about it. I'm sorry this video has been all over the place. It's been a bit emotional in sections, but I really love this name. Oh, oh, also as well, today, Vinny, Vinny, I got your dummy in the post today. Or your pacifiers, dodies, dummies, whatever you want to call them. How cute are these? They have her name on it! And now I can find the Instagram, a picture of them, <laughs> and the thank you on my social media websites. Because they had a name on it, I didn't really want to post a picture of them on Instagram until everybody knew what I was calling my daughter. So cute! So I want to say thank you in a video as well to Vinny. Ah, oh, such a breath of fresh air being able to just, you know... Whew. Now everybody knows. Wait, I need to edit and upload this video first. God damn it! Now I'll finally be able to actually say Athena in my videos. Because I've just been saying Athena around the house and me and Niall just call her Athena already. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go and eat a jacket potato and some salad. Bye! There's a little kid watching me. Shall I wave and freak them out? Hi!